The NFL Today on CBS is presented by G. There's only one. And welcome back to the NFL Today. And now Amazon takes you out to the sights and sounds of the game between the Patriots and the Dolphins. Let's send you out to Miami with our announcers, Spiro Ditas, Adam Archuleta, and Aditi Kinkobwala. All right, JV, it is a glorious 77-degree day here in South Florida where two old friends from the AFC East are ready to get reacquainted. Some familiar faces from Miami's perspective, their franchise quarterback, and some of the new participants for New England. New quarterback, new head coach, hoping to put their imprint on this long-standing rivalry. In the meantime, Mike McDaniel hoping to get the Dolphins back in the playoff conversation in the AFC and hard to believe for Miami that after that two and six start they begin the day just one game back of Denver and that final wild card slot and with that we say welcome to Miami alongside Adam Archuleta I'm Spiro Ditas. we'll hear from Aditi Kinkabala in just a little bit Arch crazy to think from where Miami started that they're still in the conversation in the AFC razor thin margin for error and New England just looking for something to jumpstart their season well you're right and look when you watch Miami especially with two of back they certainly look like they should be a playoff football team but they have to be almost perfect here down the stretch for New England it's been a long process but it's certainly clear that I think they found their answer at quarterback well, as if anyone needed reminding Tua is pretty important to the Miami yeah. Dolphins we saw it during the four games he missed with the concussion since he's been back he's been surgical it's been a completely different offense you see what he did last week where he turned long drive into long drive into a season high three touchdowns Spiro when you look up the definition of efficiency at quarterback there is a picture of Tua and it shows in his last four games 960 yards seven touchdowns one interception he is an absolute master at running Mike McDaniel's offense impeccable timing and deadly accuracy but one thing missing is the explosiveness you would love to see Tyree kill looking for his second 100 yard game of the season Sparrow he only has four catches of over 20 yards this season you certainly would like to put that back into the offense meantime New England just three wins in year one under Gerard Mayo the growing pains that everyone expected they lose to the Rams last week by six one of four one score games that they've lost so they've been competitive the other positive they've got their franchise quarterback Drake May has been incredible well it, it hasn't translated into a lot of wins or a stellar record but you watch May and he has been excellent I love last week how he handled the Rams pressure an extra guy off the weak side no panic he's going to slide to his right create space and then as he's getting hit across his body to DeMario Douglas excellent play how about quick processing Fake the run, free hitter in his face, 1.5 second, ball is out, and it gives DeMario Douglas a chance to get some yards after the catch on third down. I love, I thought he was excellent last week against the Blitz. He has grown every single game this season. He's got every tool the Patriots need for he to be their quarterback. Drake May is going to look to play spoiler here on the road in Miami. And the Dolphins, meantime, try to keep pace, stay within striking distance in the AFC playoff picture. The kick next.